My name is Val Cummins. I'm a director on the board of Simply Blue Group, which is a blue economy company, and we are an early stage developer interested in what we can do in terms of pioneering developments with ocean resources. My name is Brian Fitzgerald. I'm the Director of External Affairs and Stakeholder Liaison at Simply Blue Group here in Cork. I've come into this industry because I have 38 years experience in the Irish Navy, where I rose to the rank of Captain and I was the second in command of the Navy before I retired, primarily having been a ship's captain throughout my career. Most of our projects are focused on uh, the development of floating offshore wind. The reason we need to do the transition and focus on the energy transition is because sadly the planet is on fire. And we did hear from the International Panel for Climate Change, they issued what was called a code red for humanity. If we don't accelerate massively over the next five years that we're going to be in a worse condition with regards to climate extremes. Ireland has a role to play in terms of contributing to the decarbonisation agenda. But in a way it's, it's kind of easy for us to tap into what is just a huge offshore wind resource. So we have one of the largest maritime areas to land mass in, in all of Northwest Europe. It's not called the Wild Atlantic Way for nothing. We have that abundance of wind. The wind is definitely there, but I think every Irish citizen knows that with our beautiful Wild Atlantic Way. But what most people don't know is it's relatively shallow water. And it's shallow water because we have this extraordinary continental shelf. And the continental shelf has shallow water of somewhere between 100, maybe up to 300 metres. And it's because of that shallow depth, you can put infrastructure out there and secure it to the seabed. There is no continental shelf off the west coast of Portugal. There's no continental shelf off the north coast of Spain. It's off the west coast of Ireland. Floating offshore wind is absolutely Ireland's opportunity, in particular because we can do this at scale. The programme for government talks about doing 30 gigawatts of floating offshore wind off the west coast. The scale of our resource is unlike most other countries, not just in Europe but around the world. Floating offshore wind can hit on the triple bottom line in terms of the benefits that it has to offer. And what I mean by that is benefits for, for people, benefits for planet and benefits for prosperity. We have targets to decarbonise. 80% of our electricity in Ireland is, is to come from renewable sources by 2030. And the government has set a target of 7 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030. And a gigawatt roughly would power about a million homes. In fact, Ireland could be an exporter of clean renewable energy into Europe. I think that this would be the greatest opportunity for Maritime Ireland that has ever happened in our history. If we can work together as a country on this, and in particular what is a proportionately small maritime community in Ireland, if all of them can come together, I think it would be quite extraordinary what Ireland could actually deliver for itself, for its coastal communities, for its socio-economic impact, and for the entire economy, and indeed the economy of Western Europe. The kinds of challenges are very much linked to the regulatory aspects, actually. We hadn't, up until now, developed a fit-for-purpose marine planning framework. Last year, the government um, legislated for the Marine Area Plan Act. We have a national marine planning framework now in place, but it has taken time to get those foundations right, and as a result, we're on the back foot and there's still so much more that needs to be accelerated in terms of the regulatory environment. As I mentioned, we're doing two floating offshore wind projects, one off the south coast, one off the west. But to build those projects, each of them is 1.3 gigawatts. You're talking about an investment of at least 2 billion euros and upwards. It takes about 2.8 billion euro for one gigawatt of electricity, therefore there is 78.4 billion. Now that is 78,400 million euro worth of investment off the Irish coast today, knocking on the door requesting permission of Ireland to build a wind farm in this location. Because when we're talking about developing huge resources offshore for floating offshore wind, the million dollar question is where's the route to market? So the nut to crack here really is, is to route this to an international market to take the energy for export that will also raise the interest of foreign direct investors who will say that Ireland is seriously open for business if we realise the export scale of what we've got at our disposal here in terms of raw material. If we work together and we synergise and reap the benefit of the greatest socio-economic opportunity this country has ever seen, I think that Ireland could indeed become a very, very successful place that will satisfy our own requirements, will export energy and will be the battery of Europe.